All right, so I get a lot of questions, and I'm, you know, everybody's asking, do you need the trailer? You know, this is a great trailer. All your tools, and a couple people, you know, who are starting out, you know, weekend warriors, asking about tools and everything like that. So I decided to do basically a collection of tools. If I had to, um, I can get pretty much almost, I'd say, ninety percent of the jobs that I do um, done with these tools. Now I will say you're gonna, you know, you're gonna need a ladder. You're gonna need. I'll show you here in a little bit, but you know clean up, you know, broom, dustpan, stuff like that. But if I, for some reason, had to start all over again, I would definitely buy these tools. I can put them in a bin, you know, a couple bins, throw them in the back of your vehicle, you know, your Geo Metro, whatever you got, and get to a job site, and you could do a lot of work, for sure. I mean, a lot of work. So let's get into it. Uh, this is by no means, like, what you must have. There's always corded tools. I just have cordless you can get extension cords. I just don't, I don't need those. So I'm um, extension cord, you know, anything like that. I will say, <clears throat> get yourself some cheap saw horses, you know, a flat piece of wood, make yourself a table. You don't need a crazy workbench. Um, it definitely helps, but you don't need a crazy, you know, just something flat to keep, you know, keep your tools off the ground. So you don't have to keep bending over all that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't use tool belts. If you need a tool belt, get yourself a tool belt. I have tool bags. Uh, I would recommend them. They keep stuff organized. So we're going to get into it and get a couple honorable mentions and we'll be done. And you guys will know exactly what uh, <laughs> the tools I use for pretty much almost 90% of my work. I mean, it's there's some specialty stuff out there, but and there's tools that save a lot of time. But if I had to do it all over again, I, these are the tools I would literally just swipe a credit card for because I can get most everything done. So let's get to it. All right. So let's start from my right going to the left. So, I would literally just just straight up buy these tools just because I can get everything I need to done pretty much. And then what I, I can't get done, I can either sub out um, or just say no to. So, let's start off first off. Let's just get yourself a bag, some sort of bag. You don't need a veto. You just need some sort of bag to keep your small tools organized so you don't have to keep digging around for them. Get yourself a bag. I have, uh, you can get these bags here. You know, this bag will probably cost you, this is my plumbing bag, probably 10, 15 bucks. This probably cost you 20 bucks, give or take, maybe a little more. These are super, super cheap, super simple, but you don't need to spend, you know, a couple hundred bucks on a veto, but they are, they are pretty much the best Chinese bag money can buy. Uh, that's another, that's another discussion, but they are very good. They hold up very well. Uh, and I would highly recommend them as well. So you can see, I have a couple other ones over here. So let's get into it. You're going to need some sort of light. I would definitely recommend a uh, headlamp, so a hands-free, and then something you can stationary as well. So a couple lights would definitely get you get you by. <sighs> gloves, get yourself some gloves. You're gonna need. I would absolutely get a uh, a multimeter, some sort of meter, so you can test uh, polarity, voltage, all that kind of stuff. If you don't know how to use it, I mean, it just it it saved my butt a couple times testing out whatever you need to. You get yourself one it's it you'd be like oh i and then learn learn how to use it it's 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 a very valuable tool squares i would absolutely just get yourself you know something small sick i have i have a bunch of them but these ones just this is a 12 inch a small one i can check make sure my uh miter is um uh, is at 90 all that good stuff a laser measure Yes, I do have a tape measure here, right here. Laser measure saves a bunch of time. What are you going to do if you need to measure, you know, like 60 feet or whatnot? But I definitely get a laser measure. I use this more for me for quoting, estimating. I would absolutely just go straight up and buy it. It's it's phenomenal. A You've got yourself an outlet tester, plus you also have yourself a a uh, circuit finder, basically. And I absolutely, the, the Klein Tools makes one other one. It's a dud. But if you get this exact one, uh, I'll put the link in the description for this. It's it is it has worked. I've tested out probably eight or nine times, and I think it's only failed me one time. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's you know a crazy, you know far off circuit, but it absolutely it does work. It's awesome. Get yourself a couple eleven one some screwdrivers. It goes without saying. Some of the stuff you should probably already have. Just being a you know just being a human, I would say. <laughs> uh, screwdrivers. Uh, if you're gonna do any kind of coax or data, you're gonna need co you're gonna need crimpers. And compression tool, scissors, and a stripper, uh, coax stripper, data stripper. Definitely get yourself that. It's such easy money with that as well. Uh, pliers, level torpedo level. Um, make sure it's magnetic. Uh, it, it definitely it definitely helps out, and you can know it's, that's aluminum, so it's not going to magnetize. Diagonal cutters, very valuable. Half inch, three quarter uh, wrenches. You know, toilets, all that kind of stuff. They're big money in toilets. 
razor knives for cutting open everything, including yourself. <laughs> Be careful. Uh, outlet tester again same thing but you know you know just get yourself an outlet tester uh non-contact voltage tester uh there is a boatload of money in just your small electrical repairs light fixtures oh my goodness you know outlets stuff like that if, you, if you're either licensed or your state you know allows you to do it get into it it is absolutely a money maker and you get your wire strippers your pliers uh this is more electrical stuff but I would absolutely definitely these are I'd almost do a whole video on these ones alone. These are my favorite ones spring loaded. These are South South wire seven and ones fantastic tool. Absolutely fantastic. Of course, everybody's gonna need a tape measure. Recommend Stanley. Uh, those are they're they are, they're fantastic. Hammer, everybody needs a hammer. You got Lyman's pliers, miniature pliers. These ones come in handy when you're underneath and upside down and backwards in a sink. Definitely, uh, definitely worth it. Uh, you got your mini screwdrivers. I use this more often than I do in my house just for taking apart small, you know, small things and putting replacing batteries because you have those small screws. That one's actually, that's actually snapped. So, yeah, anyways, uh, you're going to need some electrical tape. Scissors. Now, you got in, these are plumbing. This is, these are basically just for your, your half inch copper. If you're going to do any plumbing, it's, there's a, again, if you can do small plumbing, there's a boatload of money in it. Learn yourself how to solder. I don't have my torch here, but get yourself a little small torch and some flux and a um, some solder and <laughs> get your, and copper and pipe too. So it's uh, learn your just it's su super easy, but you can really mess up uh, somebody's house if you leave it leaking. So <laughs> make sure you know what you're doing. This little tool is for I, I keep about 30 of these around. Be <laughs> garbage disposals, fantastic. You, you, those help out tremendously this is uh rigids i'll leave this in the description as well this is for a faucet replacement this has got a bunch of tools in one changing out faucets is, is uh again a great money maker super fast super easy you got yourself i got some uh milwaukee's rent these ones i don't know if there's a part number on these ones or not uh but it's a pipe wrench 4822-7114 uh, these are the pipe wrenches when you need it. They're, they're absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've got valve pullers and obviously valve tool for showers and, and kind of and, and, you know, plumbing, small plumbing stuff. It's I wouldn't get into the crazy plumbing right off the bat, but it is absolutely uh, imperative. Uh, great money maker as well. So, all right. So now we're going to get into the, some uh, other things as well. These are drill bits and impacts and just your hex and your hex because you're going to have an impact and a drill impact and drill i would almost i still get a drill first but get them in a kit uh impact saves you so much time if you if you don't have an impact you're working too hard that's that's absolutely that uh, i'd absolutely say that it's because if you're using a drill only you're, you're working too hard it, and the drill is not doing the best job you can for it. get a kit get yourself an impact drill bits because an impact, these tools are worthless if you don't have the actual accessories with them. So, you know, all your, all your, you know, you got a kit from seven all the way up to 19 for anything. If you're mounting TVs, anything you need. And, you, you know, you got your little hex adapter right here. And you can basically do pretty much everything. This is exactly what I would just, you know, if I can put all this into a truck, I can pretty much get most of any, any job done. <clears throat> that being said, we'll get into it. The drill, make sure it's a hammer drill getting through. Uh, your you know your masonry if you need to mount anything all that kind of stuff so absolutely um, you know hammer drill for sure and get make sure it's a kit Let's see if I'm make sure I'm not missing anything all right grinder any kind of grinder you'd be surprised at what you can do with this um, cutting off nails I find myself grabbing a grinder for way more things than I should I thought I would need it it has saved my butt a couple times get yourself a grinder uh it's and again this is my only rigid tool which is the actual blade itself they make these are fantastic i actually keep a couple of these in stock because of it but yeah get yourself a grinder it you, you'd be surprised you can different wheels you can you can make stuff smooth you can it, there's so many things you can do with it i'd actually i'd absolutely get myself a grinder um going and then with hacksaw saw saw whichever you guys want get this i mean cutting plumbing cutting pretty much anything the blades are what determine what you can cut uh yeah uh <laughs> it's you can trim bushes i mean there's so many things you can do with this tool uh definitely would absolutely this would be in my um in my forever tool trailer i mean this is absolutely fantastic one of the most valuable tools is an oscillating tool 
I actually, so much so that I have two of these exact ones. Fantastic. I don't care what anybody says. Milwaukee's doesn't come close to DeWalt's uh, oscillating tool. Um, this, you can make fine-tuned cuts. You can put different blades on it. You can, you know, cut out small tiles. And make, it's, there are so many things you can do with oscillating tool. Drywall, outlets, electrical, low voltage. It's there. It's fantastic. Level, get yourself a level. Make sure everything's plumb and true. Because that's what you're, you know, that's what the customer's paying for. Absolutely get yourself a level. Up top, drywall square. You can see right there for cutting drywall. And then back here we've got we've got uh, glow rods. So if you want to fish wires, there is a buttload. Of, I know I keep saying that, but there is so much money in running wires, fishing wires through walls. Get yourself a glow rod set. And behind there's a track for my track saw. We'll get to it here in a second. Absolutely fantastic tool. I mean, the glow rods pay for themselves. And they're about 40 bucks. They pay for themselves in one job. And you do one wall fish, you're good to go. And you're a hero because you're basically made the wires disappear. So I would absolutely recommend it for sure. Um, it's the, and they're super cheap. And then back here, you got yourself a cock gun. Uh, you know, that goes without saying you're going to be, you're going to need to fill some gaps and stuff like that. So get yourself one of those. And what's been staring us in the face is a circular saw. Now this is DeWalt's flex volt, uh, blade left circular saw. You don't need this fancy one, but get yourself a circular saw because you can make, uh, easy cuts with your square, which is back over here. And you can make yourself easy cuts real quick. Bang, bang, bang. As long as you know, it's, if it's cordless, you don't need to plug it in or anything like that. Circular saw would definitely be on the list. There's so many things it's been, that that saw's you know that kind of saw has been around for, for decades. I mean, I don't even probably probably close to a century almost now with 1920. So nah, not yet, but we're getting there for sure. So going on uh, router, I would this is you know some some of you call this a luxury tool. This is probably one of the best tools I think man made for itself. It's absolutely most one of the most versatile tools. Different blades you can put in there. There are different bits. And it is absolutely not what I would say for this is you get a router because you got yourself uh, your jigs for your doors because, you know, putting in doors is really easy. It's one of those like putting in a toilet. Um, customers absolutely need it. So that's another reason why I would say a track saw because making you can do you can do a table saw, but track saw is more versatile. You can still make the fine cuts, but using a track, you can make straight cuts. You can break down large pieces of plywood without with ease. And again, you can put you can put that track on whatever you need to make a straight cut on. Either it's a door, it's a, a countertop, whatever it is. Get yourself a track saw. I've never, I, yeah, you can make you can make do with a circular saw. But once you get a track saw and you use it, you're gonna be like, I I, I have no idea why why would anybody why I, I waited so long because it's it's a time saver and money maker for sure. Uh, jigs, again, jigs, you know, doors. Uh, you, you got your punch out, you got your hammer out, you got, you know, just jigs, whatever you're going to be using for, it saves time for doors. This is your Craig, um, pocket hole jig. Um, get yourself the jigs that you need because they're super cheap. And again, this is Ryobi. These are the only two green tools I have up here, but they are phenomenal. They're super cheap and they're phenomenal. They've worked exactly like they're supposed to. And they, they've paid for themselves in one job for sure. And I mean, this goes without saying, you're gonna need a bunch of materials that's going on with this as well. But again, this is just the tools itself. So I think I covered everything else. Now let's go into the two other tools that are honorable mention, but I absolutely would obviously just swipe my credit card and just spend right off the bat. So let's get right to it. All right, get yourself a paintbrush or two, some rollers and a paint pole, one of these paint poles, any, any one couple you know some three quarter inch nap get yourself you know into painting that's it's you don't need all of this you just need just to get started a couple brushes a roller and then obviously a pan to put the paint in got it back there so a pan definitely i mean you probably be into it maybe maybe 40 bucks and you get yourself on you get yourself a painting job because or just some some touch up it's super easy now i do want to show you guys ladders Whatever you can fit, six foot, four foot ladder, A-frame. Absolutely, these things probably go for less than 80 bucks. Get yourself a Warner ladder, uh, just because just you're gonna need to, you're gonna need to reach places. Trash, get yourself a Brute. Get yourself the uh, little roller so it rolls on flat ground. Very easy, keep stuff clean. And a bucket and a shovel. You can be surprised, you'd be surprised what you can get done with a bucket and a shovel. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> It's, there's so much work you can do once you have it. It's great cleaning out gutters, 
uh, post holes, you, you know, just anything. So this definitely, you don't need a 28 foot extension ladder unless you need to get it way up on the roof, stuff like that. Uh, 16 foot definitely do. You can probably get in the back of your truck or van or even an A-frame. So again, just wanted, to, these are the basic stuff I would absolutely buy right off the bat just, just to get myself on the job site and I had enough tools to get the job done. All right, so yeah, I could get away with it without it, but I definitely would just go ahead, get yourself a miter saw. Uh, dual bevel compound if you can. Oh, I, there's, uh, yeah, just get yourself one. I, I, don't, I don't even know. I think I've, like, I've had one for, my first one was a Hitachi way, um, you know, corded. And it was great. I thought it was, it was, I thought I was like, you know, king, whatever you want to, <laughs> it was amazing. So you just, you just feel like you can get so much done with a, a miter saw, get yourself a miter saw. Um, you can, again, you can get by without it, but I would definitely hug this baby around with me in the back of my truck. Cause it's that invaluable. And I would also say some, some way to clean up a job site, get yourself a vacuum. Absolutely. A vacuum is the way, cause some customers absolutely want the job site clean more than they actually want the job done so get yourself a vacuum any kind of vacuum just make sure you clean up after yourself so those are the crazy ones those are the bigger tools all right that's all i got for you guys that's all my tools that i would just immediately buy again you can get most every job done with these tools <sighs> yeah i didn't put a table saw up here because i had the track saw there's other tools mm, excuse me there's other tools i put up here but you know, there's sanders and stuff, depending on the work you do. Oh, sorry. But, uh, yeah, just get yourself, you know, get yourself out there. Get, you know, just start working. And these tools would absolutely be on my top list to get. I will not, I'll say, again, there's probably, a, you know, other tools that I'm missing. Like, say, you know, protective equipment. You know, get your, if you're going to do any kind of drywall. Like, I already put gloves on there. Eyewear. That goes without saying. Clamps. Um, you can get, you know, like again, you can get clamps. It depends on the job you're doing. Like I said, I would, I would definitely never go without my cable stapler, but you don't need it. You, I mean, you can just hammer in those staples. You, you, you can get by without it for sure. So like and subscribe if I've earned your subscription. I got a couple of video, uh, other videos. I'll put some cards up I, either here, there, you know, what? <laughs> we'll see if I know how to figure, if I can figure that out anyway. So um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Appreciate it.